Hello and welcome to the Picks and Portraits Holiday Special. Come on in, help yourself to a cookie, warm yourself by the fire, and get ready for a festive media extravaganza. I know there are a few ways into this channel, and in this video, they're all coming together for the holidays. To start, let's look at some festive Simpsons Obscura. Earlier this year, we had a video featuring Obscure Simpsons Media, I love The Simpsons, I love searching out rare stuff related to the show, and there's surprisingly quite a bit of it. Now it's pretty common knowledge The Simpsons began with a Christmas special, Simpsons roasting on an open fire, but this was actually the family's second televised Christmas. Their first came in 1988, same as mine. Simpson Christmas aired on the December 18th episode of The Tracy Ullman Show and was a parody of The Night Before Christmas. It features Bart itching to open his presents, a plot that would be reused in Season 9's Miracle on Evergreen Terrace. Fast forward 16 years to the week of December 12th through the 18th, 2004, The Simpsons appeared on a set of four collectible covers for TV Guide. Uh, now my affection for TV Guide is no secret, especially when it includes The Simpsons. They've graced the cover many times, I own several of these, uh, however I do not own these ones. Uh, they depict the family in various poses, and could be cut out and used as ornaments. TV Guide also sometimes featured a official artwork in their ads, though I cannot find one for Marge Be Not Proud. This is my favorite Christmas special probably not alone in that, but for many outside of Canada, my second favorite may be unknown. Uh, George and the Christmas Star. <laughs> this was produced in 1985 and was written and directed by Gerald Potterman, who also gave us heavy metal. Weird. It follows George, a lonely guy looking for a star for his Christmas tree. Uh, he eventually finds one in the sky and quickly throws together a rocket and blasts off into space. Uh, here he befriends a lovable robot, falls in love, meets space pirates, bikers, mounties, and then eventually Santa Claus. I would not say this is great, or really even good, but it is certainly unique in its depiction of Christmas and existential dread. It also features a soundtrack uh, by Paul Anka that has nothing to do with Christmas in the slightest, uh, but yeah, it's pretty good shit. What's that I hear? Could it be? It is. It is Christmas wartime propaganda. First up, we have Hugh Harmon's Peace on Earth from 1939. This short starts adorably enough with animals singing Christmas carols. The camera soon follows an older squirrel as he heads home on Christmas, singing Peace on Earth. There, he is greeted by his grandchildren, who are confused by the line, Goodwill Towards Men. As the grandfather explains its meaning, it comes out that humans were made extinct by the Second World War. It is then revealed the animals built their society out of the dead soldiers' equipment. Never forget. If, uh, if that sounds a bit heavy, uh, next we have Christmas Under Fire. Uh, produced by the British Ministry of Information, Christmas Under Fire intended to show American audiences the resilience of the Brits in the face of Germany's onslaught. Filmed during Christmas 1940, it depicts the destruction caused by the Blitz alongside scenes of civilians celebrating Christmas. We see bombed out storefronts hanging decorations, and people huddled around Christmas trees in the London Underground, a makeshift bomb shelter. So that just about does it for our holiday special. But before we send you off to sleep, I want to thank everyone that has supported us this year, be it on Patreon, patreon.com slash portraits, or just with your interest. It, uh, it means a lot to me. So thank you, and whatever you celebrate, from all of us here at Pixel Portraits, I'd like to wish you and yours the happiest of holidays and all the best for 2020. See you next year.